affinity photo comes with very solid shape tool. If you click and hold, you will see all of the shapes that I kind of pre-made for us to use in affinity photo. You will see only the last shape in your tool panel. So don't be confused if sometimes it's ellipse, sometimes it may be a star or just a rectangle tool. Usually it's the last one you've been using. All right, if you click and hold, we see all of them and keep in mind, some shapes are what I like to call smart shapes. So when you draw them, you will see those additional orange points around, like here, here, here. So this shape got three additional controls that we can adjust. Take a look, we can move this point all the way down. Here, this one go all the way up. Finally, we can round the end of the star arm like that. More than that, we can adjust how many arms, how many points we got in total using the slider at the top. So you can very quickly make a custom version of the star by using those smart sliders. And as you can guess, by using those smart sliders and combining different shapes together, we can come up with totally new shapes. And I did exactly that. Take a look. I've been playing with those shapes and I create 20 new shapes for us to use. How can I make that? I show you one technique already. We can customize those shapes by using those smart controls, those orange points. Another thing we can do, we can unite two shapes together. So to do that, you simply draw a shape. Then you need another shape. If you select them both, you can right click and you will have some geometry operations like add, subtract, intersect, divide and combine. So if I add two shapes together, I will end up with the brand new shape like that. So here are 20 new shapes. How can we save them in the program? So then later on we can easily reuse them. We don't need to make them from scratch. Let me show you. First thing to do will be to head to window and search for assets. You will open up the asset panel. Usually it's stick on the left. You can create a new category. Extra shapes, click OK. And there will be one group already here. I can select the first column, then I can add from selection. Now I can create a subcategory again. I select the second column and again I add from selection. And this way I add all four columns in the separate subfold, as you could say, that you can later on expand on and keep adding your own shapes. It's a nice start for kind of make your own library collection of additional shapes. Keep in mind, all of them are vector shapes. So when you drag and drop this into your another project, you will end up with a proper vector shape that you can adjust the color, scale up and down without losing quality, or even double tap to modify nodes of that certain shape. So that gives us a great flexibility. I create those shapes with the black color. So I will now change my background in the asset panel to be checkerboard, like that. All right, how can we now export those shapes to keep them in the file that can be moved between computers, between machines? We can simply hit here this menu and we can export those assets. And same way, I will share the link in the description where you can download those assets for free and in your case you will import assets to your program to load all of my shapes in your affinity photo i'm going to export my assets there's also interesting option over here we can embed the asset panel in the current document if i do that if somebody open this file they will kind of load all of those assets in the asset panel automatically just by opening this file. So that's really handy as well when you're kind of giving your work to someone else and you want to give all of the assets as well. 
all right so feel free to download my 20 extra shapes for affinity photo i will drop the comment in the description you simply need to open your asset panel and then import your assets this way you can start building your asset library and whatever you got interesting shape that you want to keep simply click on that shape and then select add from selection in the certain category i hope those assets will be useful for you and i will see you in the next video bye